Let's see if I remember the buttons. Uh, they're running pretty in karma heavy lineup. As do we, of course. Both have two in karmas. They have the rabbit that's pretty good against in karmas, I think. We take the small lead at the start. Are they making an armor push now? Can't really do much here. But they have the second armor, so they can like cycle them through. It wasn't uh, wasn't there enough in that case? How does he get him some nice kills to think chat? When you have two in karmas like this, it's really like... Uh, like you don't really like uh, have many situations where you don't have in karma up. But you still have, have to be able to take you... Uh, add one of them I think. There's a winston one v one there. He had the big advantage, so it's kind of like a... It's a hard situation for sure. But it loses one v one. We have the special benefit now. Should make a incarm push now. There's really like no one going in. We have the incarm up, but everyone's staying back. So we kinda get like nothing done. Was he using ink chat? It's really hitting anyone. He's still like um, holding the control by large. Can we use Ink Armor? Should be able to push in now, but of course they use 1 2, so it's kinda like a. cancel it out. Uh, Ink Elmas got a nice flank in there. Arrows again. Sorry, getting him some nice kills. Let's see if he gets a triple. Yeah, nice triple. He was in perfect position, there was like nothing they could not do about that. And they can like sandwich between two suicides. It's really strong. I think both teams were playing around meta lineups. Like you watch the using karma. I think that's the today's uh, hot item. So everything kinda has to at least partly revolve around the uh, in karmas. CPR, that was a map we won them on last time. They got a pr pretty nice push, but we counter pushed the knockout. I uh, I think um, comps wise, Rising Moon should have small advantage here because I think Rabbit is really strong and we don't have a blaster playing since I'm here. Which you think are meta? Well, <laughs> I think both teams are running the meta, so that's what's the game. I can pretty like a uh, semi lineups. Two in karmers on both sides. So we're kind of like going to the sidelines first to touch the in karma. I'll leave this up one. There's like definitely a good chance for Oliver to push here if they can uh, make use of the in karma here. Uh, and they get the countering karma.
Still the bush is going like, I think a rising moon is kinda outpossing at the moment. Okay, they get the high ground now. I think uh, where Eros is now is where the rabbit should be, but in says the rabbit is flanking. I don't know if that's the right move, but we'll see if it could kill. Well, they stopped this push. Sorry, I'm getting nice kill stop mid. Nice kill by Saren. Again, uh, map control wise, Olive hold holding it. I think uh, in a normal situation, Olive should be holding the map control, so we guess looking at the weapons. Say about taking the one we want there. Did nice stuff. Was this sharking on left side? Did we get some kills? Ah, uh, couldn't get the ink chat. That's good right there. And now the control is kind of switched, and you can see Rising Moon is slowly gaining control, but not still like... You see like a uh, 3 is lost around the right side, is still like pretty dominant, if you challenge him 1v1. There's a pretty good assets of uh, Ink Monster. He gets Sorin like uh, Mark, so he can't really advantage all that much. But Olive's still holding like a small control here. Air is looking to make some plays. Ah, uh, let's see if he gets... Double, yeah. That may be a bit too risky jump by Nike. I don't know if this varanda because it's really like nothing happening at the moment, it's just taking time and put some armor. Uh Inky gets the armor, pretty nice to be able to hold this push. Ah, uh, it's nice killing dude there. Dude always seems to stay back here yeah, on these matches to kind of like uh, anchor and uh, get some kills. Oh, it's kind of like a push that shouldn't happen. Like you see, the rabbit blast is flanking. Yeah, he gets some kills now, but the rabbit blast could be standing on the craze to the left there and get three free kills in the tower. So I know I I feel like uh, Olive got a little bit strong push here, considering the positions. Inky loses 1v1. It's kinda hard to chop her if you don't have armor up. It's really hard to get the 1v1. Say by looking to get some kills. Ah. Guess a double. I think uh, when the jumping markers come. Oh, Fuzzy gets two kills. Well, there you have it. Like that jump is still on tower. Even if one doesn't work and second doesn't work. When you get one jump in and you are able to get the kills like that, then it's pretty strong. Hmm, looks like dude couldn't do much here for some reason. Then again, like, uh, when he watched the control, there was only one time in the game that Rising Moon had a chance to get some control, but they couldn't really capitalize on it. So... It went pretty similarly to the other game, I feel like, at the end with the push. It was like a, like, quite a random push, like, uh... Uh, Rising Moon was still hold holding the map control in their own base, but still we got some cheap jumps in and got the double in. So, that was that. Not sure why the reset, maybe wrong map. So let's see the next match. Ray make a main stage. Uh, that's kind of weird stage. That's something that's not in the rotation. I feel like it's one of those stages that can uh, end really fast. Again, uh, mid control usually important. I think rabbit here pretty good too if Pinks decides to play rabbit. Other than that, I, I think the lineups are pretty samey, like Rapid and then another team has Splattershot Pro, but it's not like hugely different. So 
there's not like a huge differences between the two, I think. Okay, not entirely sure what's uh, what's going on. <laughs> Um, should this time the Dio by the way if someone's wondering? I don't know if he's uh, doing commentary stream of his own or... Uh, whatever he's doing. Let me get the right map. Mm, again, like uh, I think, uh, these are in fact here will be how flanks are handled. Uh, Rising Moon has the rabbit that is both good at flanking, but also the ink mines to check flanks. Am I playing or spectating? <laughs> yeah, I'm spectating, commentating while well, trying to commentate. I don't know if this you could really like consider this commentating. It's more like I'm just trying to. Provide analysis on the game. It's not really like I'm trying to really like uh, traditionally commentate, like hype things up or anything. Just trying to see how the game's going. All right. So Bing switches off. Of um, Rabbit Blaster and his Brain Pro again. So these are now complete mirror lineups. That's pretty interesting because I don't think Pro is like currently like a crazy meta weapon or anything. I think it's nice to have, but certainly not the level of three slots around Supper, for example. And uh, in Rising Moon getting the armor here. Okay, here you can see the Rain Cloud doing some work. Like you get hit by the Rain Cloud, it uh, can destroy the armor really fast. Three down by uh, Rising Moon, so Oli should be able to get a push in here. Pretty smartly played by Seba. He was uh, staying back and uh, you know trying to get the kill on Raymaker as you should play it. That would, might have been a really dangerous push otherwise. Ah, uh, bit of unlucky by Arisa, getting popped by the Raymaker then. But this could be a really good uh, push by. Uh, only if they make a sword one. Yeah, taking it down the mid. Getting respectable to the theory. That's not. Oh wow, dude, getting the sneak kill on Ursa here. They could really like um, get some nice points here if they go fast. Yeah, 11 is already a really good push on the stage. Ink going for the small flank maybe. Yeah, did they get knockout? No. Not quite. The armor should be able to push the olive back now, as, as they do. So here again, like I would expect Rising Moon to maybe paint for another armor because you see, like they lost the whole like uh, side of the map, so they need something to push out of this situation. But they're getting the pick, so three v two to be able to gain map control now. Nike kind of like uh, anchoring here, trying to get some ink armor going, which he does. See how that ink armor push works for Olive. They're using it, fuzzy pushing in. Ah, uh, couldn't, couldn't really connect shots, there was too many people there. I feel like uh, Fuzzy is the only one really acting on the ink armor to try. I feel like a Soaring maybe should be able to push off ink armor more as well. Ah, uh, errors are getting the double here with ink chat. So these are the moments in game where they really gotta capitalize. They're getting like good control right now. This side of the map is reversing the control, so to speak. Oh, Raymic is still here, like, they don't really like uh, doing much yet to push with it. Alright, this is looking pretty good at the moment for Rising Moon. Was he trying to get things set? Or he has to make the plays here, they lose. Oh, gets the assist on. 
Uh, can't get any kills, but then again, they also had to go back, so I think that's really good in chat by Fuzzy right there. And uh, good try at pushing by uh, Rising Moon. Oh, we had jump by Binks there. Not sure if that was a mistake or did he think he had salt jump. Say by anchoring again. Gets the ink armor, really important, so they can push the moment they all up. But they keep uh, getting picked up for some reason. Say by getting nice pick on Fuzzy there. Nice mark by Binks there. So this is the moment where they have to make a good armor push, but uh, not quite co quite connecting shots. Ink is pushing down Nike. Gets a nice kill on him. And gets the second Ink armor here. So again, a very good chance for Rising Moon to push. Let's see how uh, Team Olu plays his defense out. Fuzzy going to the same position here, or is he? No, he's just staying front. It's still looking decent on uh, Rising Moon. Let's see if uh, Fuzzy gets the kill on the Tumbers. Uh, gets a kill on Saber instead, but they still can keep jumping here. It's not uh, still too bad for Rising Moon. First time someone is going here, like this is a position I think is really strong, but uh, I didn't see anyone go here before. But now Ink is uh, going for some uh, kills. Doesn't have the Ink Armor yet, still wins the Mavi 1 versus Fuzzy. Now he does have the Ink Armor, so this is like uh, one chance where I feel like they could be able to make good push. Jumping again, three very aggressive jumps from Rising Moon there. We can see that uh, they have none of them have sold some at the moment, so they really gotta be careful when making those jumps. But then again, they also leading, so they I mean losing, so they gotta make uh, high risk plays if they wanna be able to do well. And this will be the final push for Rising Moon. It's kind of awkward spot for the Raymaker. They can hardly even pop it. That's really like uh, unfortunate when the Raymaker kind of stays below the. Below the drop, so you can't really shoot at it, you can't even drop bombs on it that easily. So that's like the worst thing when you get killed right when you are below a surface and you could always try to avoid it, I think. And yeah, I did ask Rising Moon, they were fine with me casting this grand final. We had five people available today, and I played a lot already, so I decided I can sub this one out. That sounds reef. Okay, this is a map Olive lost. This is the first map Olive lost. First map played in the Venus Finals, Olive lost it. And uh, this is the only map that Olive lost so far. I can go back and see what uh, uh, weapons they played were. So, last time uh, Rising Moon played T Tech, 3 Rabbit, and Chopper. Olive played T Tech, Chopper, T Tech. And uh, 3 is lost here. I think dude's gonna play Splattershot pro probably. I think that's why he switched off. They have some more range. Let's see if Bing, uh, Bing stays pro or switches back to Rapid. I guess it's gonna be the case. Let's see if... Uh, if uh, Team Olive can reverse this or not. Okay, Bing's going mini, which I feel is really strong here. And dude playing uh, Bugget's Slaughter too. That's pretty good against the uh, Incarmel lineup, such as the one that... Uh, Rising Moon is running right now. The map here is very weird, like the zone is underneath the bridge, it's really like uh, difficult to figure it out. Ersa gets the mid control here at the start. Trying to push Fuzzy, let's see. The one we want here. Oh, oh, and gets a double. That is Ersa's specialty often, I feel like. Getting clutch kills on the enemy team like that, when he had no business getting the kills. Rising Moon has the ink armor to push, push with, which they do. Getting another double, it's looking pretty dire at the moment for Olive, they really getting pushed in right now. And the vibe coming in. Basically the whole map is right now uh, Rising Moon's color. Dude going for the slight flank here, maybe focus on getting missiles in. Okay, gets the 3 missile in, which is like res respectable, but they Olive has, has to push off this, like this is their final chance already. They got wiped one too many times. But it's not... they get the zone for now. They get the zone, that's pretty sneaky cap, but I feel like I'm pretty well played. Some more missiles coming in by Binks here. And uh, again, situation reversed, Olive got the vibe. Let's see if they, how fast they can ink the map. Not as fast as Rising Moon, I feel like. The map is still like, they have still have some control. And uh, 
Inky has the ink armor here to then get the push in. Don't have the missiles to go up, but they get the ink armor, so that's still uh, that's still like uh, something they can uh, act off of. In Inky doesn't really get any kills and um, missiles coming in, but I can they couldn't really combine the special, so it wasn't maybe as strong. Okay, Soren is down now, and Sabo is just in front of the ink armor, so it might actually work out, but. Yeah, they get the control. That's still like nice plate. Didn't get the coordination there, but still good cap by Rising Moon. Posit trades with the uh, three on top mid. Rising Moon has a top mid control and uh, zone control, but they when you watch the map, they don't really have a uh, control of Olive's base like they did earlier. And, and right side is also Olive's now, but again, they're getting pushed in pretty hard. Missiles come off, but really nothing uh, is. Nothing's happening beside that. Olive has top mid now, but they also have to go underneath and get the con control of the zone, which they do. And they also need to push off the left side, like you look at the left side, the chopper can just chill here and have no uh, worry in life. So that's something they need to be able to do if they don't want to keep trading zones for the rest of the game and lose the game. Nothing much happens from the armor. Dudes gets two missiles. Which is still uh, alright, but uh, not like much. Not much is gonna happen. Oh, say about next to one v one. Slight unlock by dude, but that's how it works sometimes. Again, uh, Rising Moon getting good control, and you can see they ink much faster. I feel like they get much better control. Dude, dude going to mid maybe. But no, kinda hesitating. Inky here has the ink armor when Olive makes the push. Which he should be using it now. Sorry, I'm fighting on the zone. And Olive gets the cap again, but I feel like Olive should be pushing this left side more. This is how, how we can know that uh, they can be able to come back so easily. But still getting the nice picks here, so it's still uh, going decently well for Olive. If they can hold this left side here. And uh, they get the kills on the guys underneath. They, I feel like they should have maybe jumped back, but it's a hard call anyway. And Eris doing what Eris does best, coming in and... They think doesn't get the double this time. Got a nice pick. Say about jumping, well that's kind of the jump he had to make. And that would be game. That was pretty back and forth game, good game. Both teams played well. But uh, I feel like uh, it still wasn't like uh, perfectly played by Olive. You can see that they didn't really push forward and ink the good, like the important parts of the map at the start. Fuzzy huge game. There is a huge game again. Seems like the is pretty strong here in set in specific, but I think that might have been four. That was four. Okay. So that's the grand final of of Inkopolis start. Yeah, Inkopolis Stad was the tournament's name. Well, congrats. <laughs> uh, Nike, dude, Fuzzy, and Sorin, well played. Only lost one game against Rising Moon. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'd like to do more of this. I know like this is not perfect yet, but I'm still trying to try my best to do this.